Hello and welcome. Let's talk about recurrent abortion. So what does it mean by recurrent abortion? Recurrent miscarriage or abortion is defined as a sequence of three or more consecutive spontaneous abortion before 20 weeks. Etiology. The first trimester abortion, the causes includes genetic factors, endocrine and metabolic factors like poorly controlled diabetic patients, presence of thyroid autoantibodies, total phase defect, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Other includes infection, inherited thrombophilia, immune factors, autoimmunity, alloimmunity, parental, human leukocyte antigen, and unexplained causes. Second trimester miscarriages include endemic abnormalities and chronic maternal illness like uncontrolled diabetes with arteriosclerotic changes, hemoglobinopathies, chronic renal disease, inflammatory bowel disease, and SLE. Infection, infection includes syphilis, toxoplasmosis, and listeriosis, and other includes unexplained causes. Investigations for recurrent miscarriage A thorough me medical, surgical and obstetric history with meticulous clinical examinations should be carried out to find out the possible cause or causes as mentioned previously. Careful history taking should include the nature of the previous abortion process, histology of the placenta or cardiotyping of the conceptors if available and any chronic illness of the mother. The investigations the diagnostic test includes blood glucose, fasting and postprandial, BDRL, thyroid function test, and others. There may be autoimmune screening for lupus, anticoagulant, and anti cardiolipin antibodies. Serum LH can be done. Autosonography can be done to detect congenital malformation of the uterus, polycystic ovaries, and uterine fibroid. Hysteros selfingography uh, can be done. An intracervical swab to detect chlamydia, mycoplasma, and bacterial vaginosis can be done. Karyotyping of the husband and wife should be done. Treatment During interconceptional period, to alleviate anxiety and to improve the psychology of the mother, a specific treatment should be done. Hysteroscopic resection of the uterine septa, sinica, and submucous MMS may be done. Uterine unification operation can be done for cases with bigonal uterus. And chromosomal abnormalities, if there is uh, detection in the couples or in the abortus. Genetic counseling should be done. Women with PCOS should be treated with insulin resistance, hyperinsulinemia, and hyperandrogenemia conditions. Endocrine dysfunction should be treated with control of diabetes and thyroid disorders. Genital tract infection should be treated appropriately following culture of the cervical and vaginal discharge. During pregnancy, reassurance and tender loving care should be given. Ultrasonography to detect a viable pregnancy that would influence for the management. Rest, progesterone therapy. An anti phospholipid antibody signal should be treated with low dose aspirin and heparin. Circulation operation should be done for cervical incompetence and chromosome immunity includes parental diagnosis by CBS or amniocentesis should be done. Inadequate thrombophilus includes endothrombotic therapy for improving the pregnancy outcome, usually with heparin or low molecular weight heparin, subcutaneously once daily. Medical complications in pregnancies, uh, including uh, hemoglobinopathies, SLE, scientific heart disease, are advised to delay pregnancy until the disease is optimally treated. During pregnancy, specific management is continued. End of the topic.